and today's five minute critical care concept is going to be about pressure support ventilation if you have a patient who's intubated on mechanical ventilation with a CPAP mode of ventilation on the pressure over time curve you can see that the trachea pressure is about five centimeters of water that is the set CPAP level on the ventilator when the patient takes a breath the pressure goes down from 5 to 4 creating a gradient allowing for air entry on the flow over time curve with the initiation of the inspiration the flow goes up gradually flattens and goes down gradually at the end of inspiration the sine wave of the flow indicates that it is spontaneous breath as a result of the flow the volume goes up from zero to the tidal volume that is around 500 cc's in this breath so the breath is initiated by the patient terminated by the patient it's negative pressure inspiration and the flow is a sine wave this is a spontaneous breath now notice that if the patient gets weaker the flow goes down and the tidal volume is lower so he's not able to generate the 500 anymore he's generating around 310 each breath so we can help this patient by adding pressure support to each of his spontaneous breath since he's still initiating the breath on his own so I will add 10 centimeters of water to each of his breath and we'll see what what happens let me freeze the screen for you so you can see the difference <clears throat> on this first breath you can see that his spontaneous breath started by the patient ended by the patient sine wave the second breath is a supported breath it started by the patient you can see that the initial rise here in the flow from zero to a set value by the operator I think in this one in this setting here it's 5.7 liters let's let's just take a look on it 5.7 liters per minute the patient has to generate 5.7 liters per minute in order to trigger the machine at that time the machine will give the 10 centimeters of water and you can see that the pressure goes up from 5 to 15 10 centimeters above the 5 this is the limit the machine cannot go above 10 centimeters of water now the question is how long does the machine keep that pressure of 10 above 5 during inspiration it depends on the flow so you can see with the pressure of with the pressure increased to 10 the flow has changed to decelerating wave it goes up to the maximum inspiratory flow and then starts to decelerate and the flow takes a shape of decelerating wave compared to sine wave in the spontaneous breath now the machine will monitor the decelerating limb of the wave of the flow wave and once it reaches a certain value that is set by the operator also it will cycle or it will end inspiration meaning that it will release that pressure in this breath here it's about 25 percent of the maximum inspiratory flow once this value is reached the pressure is released and the patient exhale so now the three variables for the breath the trigger the limit and the cycle the trigger is the flow which is patient triggered the limit here is the pressure that is 10 centimeters of water cannot go beyond that and the cycle is 25 percent of the maximum inspiratory flow so the breath that is flow triggered pressure limited flow cycled is a pressure supported breath now as a result of 
variable flow each time and variable decelerating limb of the flow you can notice that the inspiratory time might be different from one breath to another and the uh, volume is variable could be larger or lower dependent on the patient's effort so in summary a breath that is flow or pressure triggered but it is patient triggered a pressure limited and the limit is the set pressure support and flow cycled and the cycle is the set level of the maximum inspiratory flow this breath is pressure supported breath if all the breaths are pressure supported breath the mode is called pressure support ventilation so we'll see it once again and we'll see that all the breaths are initiated by the patient the machine is triggered and is given 10 centimeter of water the flow is decelerating and ends at 25 percent of the maximum flow I just want to mention that this breath is initiated by the patient but it did not trigger the ventilator because it did not reach the threshold for trigger which is 5.7 liters per minute so that's why you can see that this is a spontaneous breath ended up with very minimal tidal volume with this i would like to end this five minute critical care concept and looking forward to seeing you in one of the next sessions thank you